Hi, thanks for holding. This is Dr. Khan. Hey, Doug. It's Brian. Hey. So, um, did you got my voicemail then? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, pathologist comments. The, the main thing is that he was seeing some atypia with the cell population, some abnormal appearance of the cell populations that he thought was strongly suspicious for carcinoma. Carcinoma being not a good thing. Um, uh, uh, carcinomas tend to be very aggressive, uh, locally aggressive um, uh, cancers. So, yeah, not, not a good prognosis. I guess, you know, given the uh, what we saw on exam and everything, it was kind of fits with, with uh, what's been going on with her. Um, but uh, not one that's going to be easy to treat. Right. Um, yeah, that's what I was kind of worried. That's, I mean, what I've been worried about. I, so what, what do you think? I mean, Carson Elvis, that's, as you said, it seems that it's pretty aggressive. He's, uh, I mean, he had those two lumps that formed down by the tail already after. And um, he seems to be losing weight rapidly. I noticed you mentioned, you know, I, noticed, yeah. I know you mentioned anemia. Um, yep. Um, yeah, I was suspecting anemia based on how pale the gums looked. Um, but yeah, this is not, it's not a good prognosis. And I think if, if uh, quality of life is declining, it sounds like it is, then euthanasia would probably be the, the kindest thing. Um, this generally, carcinomas are usually not things that are easily treatable unless it's like in, a, uh, in one spot. Sometimes, you know, you can surgically debulk, but usually they come back. Um, you know, uh, over time, they tend not to be chemotherapy responsive. Um, so yeah, they don't carry carcinomas. Don't carry a good prognosis um, in general. Is there? A, I mean, what have you seen done in the past? Or I, I guess I I don't know. I guess I'd be pulling at straws, but well, I haven't. I can't say that I've gone to surgery on a carcinoma and a snake. Um, we've, we've occasionally got a, you know, done surgical debulking in other animals like small mammals, uh, cats, things like that. Um, you know, again, sometimes you get in to an abdomen on an exploratory surgery like that and find that there's carcinoma in lots and lots of places. In those cases, I usually don't continue surgery. We usually euthanize on the table. Um, more often than not, with most animals that have carcinomas in their in their abdomen, in this case the somatic cavity, um, yeah. more often than not, uh, you know, I don't end up doing. Uh, once we know that's there, we don't end up doing a lot of treatment. Um, most owners have elected to euthanize at that point. So. Yeah, un unfortunately, all the people I've spoken with that have had this type of situation say that it 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 never ended up. There's there's there are no success stories that I've heard of. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't anticipate a success story with um, carcinoma, particularly if it's in multiple locations, which we we suspect that it is um, based on the palpation. Okay. Yeah, not a good thing. Yeah, unfortunately. That's all right. I, I appreciate you getting back to me, and uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna take some time to sit with this, and then I'll I'll get back to you about uh about okay. taking care of him. I'm sorry we don't have something better to deal with. I know this isn't good news. Um, but, you know, again, sometimes the kindest thing you can do is let them go when, when they're dealing with bad disease and, and not um, thriving and feeling good. Do you have any, you know, do you have any insight as to what could cause th this? Do you, I guess you're fairly familiar with carcinoma things. Do you, do you know where it comes from? or It's usually a random mutation. Um, of whatever cell line it derives from, they they didn't say what cell line it came from. I don't know that they could they couldn't really make that differentiation just from a cytology. They'd have to biopsy to to know what tissues it's in. I'm guessing intestinal tract based on uh, kind of how it looked and felt, um, but I, I I don't know for sure. Um, but typically that's a random mutation. It's not um, anything that that necessarily caused it. 
just the same. Uh, I this... guess if you do, if you if it was consuming things that were carcinogenic, it might increase the odds. But I mean, you know, I don't think there's anything that you're doing that would that would uh, cause this. Okay. It just sometimes happens, you know, and it doesn't. We don't see that many carcinomas in reptiles, um, but occasionally we do. Right. Okay, Dr. Well, I appreciate all the information. Um, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit with this for a day or so, and then I'll, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, yep. All right, well, again, I'm sorry, um, but let, let me know if you have any other questions. Okay, up. thank you, Dr. Conn. I appreciate you. Uh, all right, sure. Take care. Bye. Well, ah. Uh, I was preparing myself for this. <sighs> kind of knew that this was where it was going, but it sucks. It really fucking sucks. I think the answer is obvious, as the doctor said. I'd love you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what you would do in my situation. Um, it sucks. <laughs> Wish we had some better news. Wish we had a success story for you guys today. That would be great. Or at least the beginnings of what could become a success story. Doesn't sound like that's what's happening. Uh, shoot. I'm on day two of the cleanse right now, and uh, we'll get back to everything. I'll, I'll get a video back up on Saturday, and we'll talk about the details of what's going on with that. And then hopefully we'll have some, maybe have some snake eggs on the ground, some good news to share with you guys. But we'll call it January 2021 a, a bust, pretty much. Um, I appreciate all you guys that put out a lot of good energy for Sunset, and and everybody doing everything they could from afar to at least, you know, throw some good energy out there. I really appreciate you guys doing that. Um, <laughs> I'm bummed, man. I'm bummed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut it down, but see you guys in the next video and we'll be, ah, <sighs> You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Oh yeah, obviously this isn't your traditional Cusco Uncut because we just cut. I didn't want to leave you guys sitting there and waiting, uh, guessing. So we, it's the next day, we're, we're here in front of the vet. Gotta go in in about five minutes. And I'm um, just gonna say goodbye to Sunset here. It's uh, not an easy decision, obviously. I trust my doctor. He's been very good to us. He's done, he's done lots of good uh, work for us in the past, and has, we've had lots of successful interactions with him, and he's, done, he's, he's a good doctor. I trust him. And the fact that Sunset, who is usually a very ravenous, ravenous feeder, who is seeming very lethargic, the deterioration of his, of his spine past the lump here, and then the fact that he's developed more lumps down by his tail already and he's got the, the lumps just the carcinoma is super aggressive I don't know if you can tell by the curvature of his spine he's losing weight very quickly when he tries to climb upwards he just falls back down so I didn't want to I want to take the doctor's advice and not just prolong his suffering and uh, so this is goodbye for sunset I'm trying to, I'm just want to focus on the positive things, all the great, all the great interactions he's got to have with people and educating kids, um, focus on the fact that it wasn't some kind of virus or bacteria tear, that's going to tear through and, and affect the rest of our animals. Um, so just staying positive on it as much as possible. Um, I don't know if you can see the transition. Anyway, I'm just going to leave you guys with a, with a montage of all the great memories of Sunset. You okay there, bud? You guys want to say bye to Sunset? Bye, bye Sunset. sunset.
up like that, all defensive, that was pull real quick or something. And this, this is an indigo snake. These guys are native to Florida, Georgia area here in North America. Sunset the indigo snake. I hope the earth on the oh I hope that the earth takes care of you under the ground sunset. I just like to take a thank, just like to take a second to thank you guys too. There's a lot of thoughtful messages that have been coming through the past couple weeks, past few weeks, whatever it's been, and we just really appreciate it. Um, this is the tree where sunset used to come out here, and it always seemed to head this direction towards this tree. And when I would come and hold him out here and and let him bask in the sun, this was kind of our spot, this little area. So I thought it was the perfect place for him to be. Um, it's a bummer. Uh, again, just trying to focus on the positive things that Sunset left for us. And we're going to uh, hopefully have a better year going forward. You guys take care of yourselves.